Do you have somebody in your life where you felt like you could change them? Maybe you've known them for a really long time and you have risen to a higher self-awareness or knowing of yourself or just a general happiness and you feel compelled to help them. Maybe they have a hard time in life or maybe they just don't see things similarly to you and you feel compelled to help them to change their mind, to help them see life similarly to you. If you've ever felt like you could do that to somebody, that you could change somebody, if you've ever had the desire to help somebody reach their higher potential, their more spiritual self, I'm here to say that that is absolutely, completely egotistical and completely against everything that is spiritual in this world because who are you who am i to tell another person that what we believe that what we think is better than what they believe and what they think our perspective our journey our life is ours only and solely you cannot raise somebody else to be at the same level as you because there is no level there isn't a hierarchy of who is the most spiritual person in which you have to compete to get there and you cannot raise somebody to your own level which is a level that is simply in your own being if another individual or another person lives life differently than you believes things differently than you that is their own life you cannot convince somebody of something that they do not believe in not show something to somebody that they cannot see and how egotistical is it that we want to change people? How egotistical is it that we think we know what's best for other people? And I urge you, if you're one of these people who, who thinks, who wants to change other people, who wants to raise the awareness of somebody else, you cannot do that for somebody. They have to choose to do that for themselves they have to go through life and realize the things that you have the things that i have in order to gain that awareness and for a long time i tried to do that you know i had people in my life that maybe through time didn't their vibrations were a little low they would be cynical they would be nihilistic they are depressed, they are this, they are that, and I would try to change them. I would try to make them realize that there's so much more to life. I would try to instigate conversations to make them more self-aware, more, more like me. But how egotistical is it that I want somebody else to be like me rather than me just accepting the person for who they are and just being there for them? We all have gifts, things that we're good at, things that we're bad at. Yet we want other people to be like us so badly because we feel alone. So we try to change people to be more like us when all we need to do is accept people for who they are. And it is difficult. It is tough. It is, it is so difficult because you want people in your life, just like I want people in my life that are similar to me, but I've learned that you cannot change people. You cannot bring a level of vibration to somebody else to make them see life like you do because no one can see life like you do. So I'm sorry if this video is <laughs> counterintuitive, but you cannot raise the vibrations of somebody who doesn't even know what vibrations are. You cannot show somebody or tell somebody about something that they don't even know exists, that they cannot see for themselves. So if you're wondering how you can help people, how you can raise somebody to the same level as you, to the same level of understanding, to see the same things as you do, realize that it comes from a place of ego. It's not coming from a place of actually helping the person. It's because you want somebody just like you. So you feel less alone. And how selfish is that? How selfish are we to want to change people like this? How selfish are we 
that we want to change people to be at the same level as us. When there is no levels to humanity, there is no levels on this earth, there is no higher or lower, there is no hierarchy of being, we just are, we just exist. We either know or we don't know. That's it. And who am I to say that I am better than somebody else? And who is somebody else to say that they are better than me? I used to have somebody in my life who would criticize my, my every move whenever it came to picking jobs because I would pick jobs based off of my own happiness and joy. And they would criticize me because I would pick those types of jobs instead of jobs that were that would make me the most amount of money. They didn't see that. They couldn't see that. And you can't make somebody see that. All you can do is realize that that is how they are. And you are how you are. And if you cannot change them, you either let them go or you accept them for who they are. And same for me. The amount of times I've gotten into friendships hoping that I can make people see see something, see the th life how I see it. But that is impossible because they aren't me. And who am I to say that the way that I see life is better than how they see life? I'm just a human being like anybody else going through this life just like them with my own experiences, with my own being and body just like they are. I am no better nor worse than anybody. So I've come to realize through this journey to let go of my need of, of changing people, wanting people to be better. And I understand because we want the people around us to be better, the people that we love to be better. But we cannot help people who cannot help themselves. We cannot. All we can do is be there for their journey, accept them how they are, and recognize that they see the world differently than us. And that is okay. There is no better or worse way to see life. Unless, of course, the way the person sees their own life is detrimental to their own mental health. And of course, we could help, but we can never, ever change the mind of somebody who cannot even see the universe the way we see it. We either accept them for who they are or we move on. And it is selfish for us to want to change people, even if it comes from a good place. It always comes from a good place. We want to help them. We want them to be better. But rather than trying to understand the other person's perspective, we want to change them. We want to make them realize their potential, the way they could see life and how they can help themselves. But all you can do is observe. Observe and be there for them in a non-judgmental way. Because everything we do and everything we try to do for other people comes from a place of ego. You might not realize it because you want to help the person and it seems like it's a selfless deed. But why is it that you want to help the person see life the way that you do? It's because you think that the way you see life is better than they do. So it comes from a place of ego. Can we raise people to a higher vibration? Can we change people? Can we help other people see life like we do see life in a better way the answer is no we can't we can never and all we can do is let them let them help themselves and this isn't in a condescending way at all because who are we to judge another person's life who are we to know what's best what's not we're just human beings on, on this earth. I'm just a person making a video. And all we can do is just share our thoughts. And whatever resonates, resonates. And whatever doesn't, it doesn't. You cannot force people who don't want to change to change. You cannot force people who don't see a problem to change. All you could do is just be there for them. That's it. Uh, Thanks for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye.